What's up, brothers? Hope everybody's doing well out there. Out here relaxing in the driveway. Figured I'll turn the camera on and shoot the shit with you guys. And I just realized it's been a few months since I've given you guys dating advice, so I guess we'll talk about the ladies in tonight's video. And what I want to talk about today is that women will be extremely patient with you. You know, especially if you're a young guy, I'd say under the age of 35 or so. Under the age of 40, you know, we'll push it up a little bit. You can date a woman, you can be in a relationship, and she'll let you get away with a lot of bullshit. Okay? You might treat her like shit, you might, you know, blow her off and go hang out with your friends. She might even catch you cheating. Whatever it may be, women will put up with a lot of bullshit until the day their patience runs out, okay? Women will be extremely patient with you until the day their patience runs out. And on that day, she'll go ice cooled. It'll be completely out of the blue. There's no way you could have predicted it. You never saw it coming. There was no warning signs. But you look her in the eyes and you can see you look deep into her eyes and you know for a fact that she doesn't love you anymore. And that's what happens on the day that her patience runs out. And it's broke and you cannot fix it. I suppose this is going to be one of the most red pill or all women are like that type of videos I've ever made. But I feel like I need to make this video because I see a whole bunch of dating coaches saying the opposite of what I'm about to say. A lot of dating coaches are telling you that women are turned off by men that commit to them. You know, turned off by men that are, are vulnerable and that open up to them and are willing to commit for the long term and get married and things like that. They say that women despise men that are soft. Those are beta males and women don't want to be with them. That's what dating coaches tell you. But in the real world, outside of the manosphere, this holds true, I'd say 99.7% of the time. When you're in a relationship, a woman expects for that relationship to make some progress. She expects, look, if she's under the age of 35 and has no kids, she expects to get married and have kids within the first two or three years. And if that progress isn't taking place, eventually one day she's going to wake up and just, you know, in her mind, you made the decision for her. You let her know that you weren't serious enough to take that next step. You're just wasting time. And boom, she's going to snap out of love. She's going to be out the door. She's going to be with a new man. And she's going to get married to him and have kids with him. Now, <clears throat> this may be a little bit different if you're older than 35, especially if you have kids, if she has kids, and you get together. She's still going to want the ring. She's still going to want the marriage. She's still going to want to move in together and be a serious couple. But as a man, if you're not taking that next step, if you're not making progress in that relationship, she's going to assume you don't take her serious and she's going to leave. She'll be gone. Now, like I said, point, point uh, zero three percent of the time or whatever, maybe it'll be a little bit different. But the overwhelming majority of the time, this is what you're going to see take place. Okay. And here's the thing. And you can go down whatever rabbit hole you want to go down. You can watch the MGTOWs. You can watch Red Pill. You can watch whatever you want to watch. But everybody seems to agree on this, uh, this certain subject. And, you know, I'm sure you've heard the joke. What is it women want? What do women want? And the answer is more. Right? That's the... It's not a funny joke, but... I mean, I'm sure you've heard it before. 
Now, a lot of people get that twisted, and they think that means that uh, uh, she wants you to have more money. Uh, you know, she she always wants a bigger, better deal. She always wants a more handsome man. She always wants a higher status man. But that's not really what that means. It means she wants that relationship to continuously be making progress. And it's your job as a man to drive that progress, to lead that progress and make it happen. If you don't, she leaves. Now, <clears throat> this could be from the very first time you approach her. She expects you to make a move, for you to get her number, for you to give her your number, for you to set up a date, for you to be consistent with her and treat her like a girlfriend, for you to get engaged with her, for you to get married to her, for you to get her pregnant, for you to buy a house for the family to live in, for you to have a good career that you can provide the family with, um, you know, for you to have a good, uh, you know, good benefits package. You can go take vacations a couple times a year. I mean, some women are going to be more needy than others, but women are going to continuously throughout the relationship expect you to be making those moves. It never ends. Literally never ends. There's always the next step. That's what progress means. You're just, you're constantly moving forward. You never, you don't get complacent. You don't stop. And, uh, <clears throat> you know, that's why a lot of the MGTOWs just say they're done. They don't want to be a plow horse. Once they realize this, uh, this common trait in female nature and they just realize it's like that with all of them. You know, they all expect that next step. You know, a lot of guys just check out. They say they don't want to do it. But uh, I still got a feeling the majority of guys out there say that it's still going to be worth it. You know, if you meet a woman that you're in love with and you want to make that happen, then uh, you'll make it happen, you know. And honestly, you should be making progress in your own life regardless. The only, the only progress you really have to make in a relationship is as much as, and I'm not advising to get married in this day and age, I understand that the government gets involved and it's a pretty bad experience for most people, but... You know, they expect that. And if you want something serious, you know, that's a step that, sad to say, you're probably going to have to take. <clears throat> you know, and she's going to want to have kids. She's going to, you know, she wants that progress. And the thing about this, and the thing, the, the big thing that you need to understand, like you have to put this in, pers in a perspective where you'll understand it. So, imagine you're 30 years old, and you've met a girl that's 28 years old. She's really cool. You guys got a lot in, in common. You got a good relationship. You know, everything seems to be going well. <clears throat> Just She checks all the boxes. The relationship's perfect. But you don't want to settle down. You want to wait another five years to have kids. You know, maybe you've just started your career or, you know, something of that nature. You got some traveling to do, whatever. And you want to wait another five years. Well, in her mind, when you just said you want to wait another five years, what she heard was, you don't want to make that next step. You don't want to make progress. She doesn't have five years to wait. So, she only has two years to wait. She's about to turn 30. She doesn't want to you know, not have a serious relationship, not be married and not have kids at the age of 30. So more often than not, that'll be the moment right there. No warning signs out of the blue. You won't even know it hits you. She don't love you anymore. And she'll go find somebody else. Now, a lot of people will say what I'm saying right now is not true, but I've seen it happen time and time again with my own eyes with my friends, family, my peers. Seen it happen time and time again. You know, no woman wants to stay trapped in a relationship where you're just dating. She doesn't want to be your girlfriend. 
you know, a chick that you're dating. What's your status? We're dating. No woman wants that. But uh, let's be honest, in this day and age, with the way marriage is, the way the family court system is, and the child support, and all of that stuff, the majority of men just want to stay in that phase. And, I mean, what can you do? You know, I, I don't want to advise guys to be a plow horse if you don't want to be a plow horse. You know, you're not just a utility that's there to provide for people. But uh, I guess you got to decide which is more important to you. The relationship, the marriage, the family, the kids, or your free time, enjoying yourself. You know, what matters more to you? And that's how you, you'll answer that question. Last thing I would want to say is that... Uh, you never want to find yourself becoming a high-value sucker. And a lot of guys think, you know, it's all about the money and the status and the looks and all, all this and that. And that stuff's very important. That's going to di uh, dictate your sexual market value. But you don't want to be a high-value sucker. You know, you don't want to be a guy that women view as somebody they can get a few babies out of and put on child support and just use the fuck out of you and take your money. Do not be that guy. You know, you also don't want to be a PUA simp. You know, you don't want to be a guy that's talking to girls and overthinking things and thinking you got to pass a shit test. And for those of you that don't know what a shit test is, a shit test is when a girl acts a little bit bratty or does something to try to piss you off just to see if she can get her way, if she can dominate you. Well, look, if you're playing those games, look, if you pass the shit test, you're a simp. If you fail the shit test, you're a, you're a loser. You just ignore the shit test and just say, I'm, I'm not dealing with this shit. You win. You keep your dignity. You keep your respect. Don't be a high value sucker. Don't be a PUA simp. What it all comes down to is compatibility. You know, are you at the same stage of your life that she is? Is she attracted to you? Are you attracted to her? Is it genuinely just there? Well, if it is, and the keys are in your hands, all you got to do is the leader in the direction that you want the relationship to go. And as long as you're making progress, that relationship will do just fine. And look, that's really what it comes down to. If, in her mind, if she understands that she's with a man that's making the next move. Like she always knows that next move is coming, that progress is coming. She'll be fully satisfied. But it's the moment that that progress ends that you get complacent. There's no longer the next step to take. That's when her patience runs out. When she realizes you're no longer making progress because let's be honest, <clears throat> you're doing it because you're no longer mentally invested in the relationship. You're no longer mentally invested in the future. You're on autopilot. You're totally complacent. She'll lose patience and check out. Like I said, no warning signs, out of the blue, smack you right in the face. You look her in the eyes and she doesn't love you anymore. She's gone cold. She hates your guts, maybe. You know, sucks to say, especially if you have kids and, and you were married and now you're rolling through the court system and <laughs> you're at her mercy and her lawyer's mercy and the judge's mercy. It's a terrible position to be in, but it uh, happens. So, yeah, like I said, make sure that authentic, genuine desire is there. Make sure you're at the right stage of your life to you know, compliment whatever stage in her life she's in so you guys can get on board together and move in the same direction and be willing to lead it. That'd be my best advice to you because if you don't, you'll find out the hard way. But anyways, guys, I guess I'll go ahead and shut this one off, but I hope this video was somewhat informative 
And that's about it for today, guys. Until next time, see ya.